Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, this is Andres here. Sorry for taking so long to post the video because I was really busy with my studies, so I haven't gotten a chance to post the videos for a long time, so again, my apologies. So before I'm gonna be talking about it, I'm gonna be cleaning my room first, then I'm gonna be talking about how experience I learned from my first every class. So before I'm gonna be talking about it, I'm gonna be cleaning a little mess from the room I got over here over here when I'm, I'm a mess here and here I made a mess here so don't worry about it so I'll be cleaning it so hope you guys stay tuned for this video so I'm gonna be clean a, a little bit in my room and then I'm gonna be talking about my experience for my fucking turn course so talk to you guys in a bit Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I'm back to the channel. So sorry for it taking me so long to be a little bit cleaner in my room. So my apologies. So I promise you guys, I'm gonna be doing a little bit faster. So let's move on to the topic. For my topic is that I'm gonna be talking about how I learned from my photography, cor photography course from this semester. So before I'm gonna be talking about it, I would like to say thank you to one of those that subscribed to my channel and that has 17 subscribers. And it really means a lot to me. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot. So if you guys haven't do it, just make sure to do it so you can get notifications. So make sure when you finish watching this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you guys can get notifications. That's what I'm gonna say to you guys for my other videos. So please remember that. Don't forget to subscribe. You guys want to be friends and follow me on social media and Instagram so you guys can be DM me on Instagram if, if you guys want to see my video. So make sure you do that. Also, I'm moving on to my topic. I have turned the lights I'm in paper so don't mind me I have turned on the lights while my classmates walked on their print papers so the reason why I learned that is because I just turned on the light by accident like a couple of times however I have learned that if I turn on the lights like, where people doing the print paper it might be ruining their print papers however they have to do it again if I turn the lights where the people doing the print papers. So I, I have learned that before I do anything, I just ask them questions as much as I can. So I want to ruin people's print paper. So remember to keep that in mind that if you guys take a of classes from my from the Vincent College or or the colleges, you guys have to learn that from the dark room. You never turn the lights while people doing pen paper. If you do, you might ruin their, it might ruin their pen papers, and they have to do it again. Remember that to keep that in mind as you guys are in photography class, because it's my experience that I did back in my photography class is my first time taking photography in college for this semester. Remember that to keep that in mind because I think I talked about that last video. So remember that. I take, I'm taking photography classes and like the class because it helps me with my journalism and acting career. So remember that many journalists and actors need to be good at photography while pre they're presenting of talking in front of the camera. So remember that journal many journalists and actors need to take photography course in order to be presenting in, the scene, in front of the scene. Remember that to keep that in mind as you guys are going to journalism and acting field. Remember that to keep that in mind like always. So moving on. My classmate had had told me no, don't turn on the light because it can ruin their film pen papers. So film developing, yeah. That's where I learned my lesson and I and I learned that I don't I'm not gonna do that again. So before I'm gonna do the thing, I will make sure that 
I'll ask questions. Remember that, guys, don't repeat the same mistake as I did because that's the mistake that I did that I cannot do in my photography class in the dark room. Remember to keep that in mind and then once you go in the dark room, before you do anything, make sure you ask questions. That's all you gotta do so it won't ruin the film developing. Always remember that like always. My advice I'm gonna give you is that once you're in film developing, do not do the same mistakes as, as I did, like I said before. Remember that to keep that in mind. Before you do anything, you ask questions as much as you can. Please do not take your hand out of, of the bag because it can ruin the film. Remember that to keep that in mind. Only when you open the zip up, it may ruin the film. Remember that to keep that in mind as you go to the process of photography. You take the temperature for a consult chart for correct time. You film you film you feel develop taking you taking with water first set up for 30 seconds then dump take out the water out pour its developer and start the timing that's all you got to do for your film developing set up for 50 seconds follow instructions as to method of of agitation do one and two, sit down, one and two, sit down. Always got to remember that to keep that in mind as you go through it. At the end of th three minutes, pour the fixer back into the jug and begin six minutes of washing. That's all you got to do when you film developing. At the final of six minutes, wash, empty, empty it, the can tank, pour a cap, full of hypo cleaning agent and fill with water. That's all you gotta do when you are in your photography class. Just let it stand for a minute, rinse, empty the tank and add a few drops of photos, blow and fill, ta fill tank again. Remember that to keep that in mind. Let it stand for 30 seconds. Always gotta remember that when you go to photography class. Using a Using a sponge, soft, take the reel from the tank and sponge it off once. Only once. That's all you gotta do when you sponge it. Hang in the bathroom to make sure you have the bottom of the film weighted so it wanna curl up. Remember that when you get to photography class. It would take about an hour or so for the film to dry. Do not use a your dryer or anything else to hurry the drying process along, you you can ruin the film of the way. Remember that to keep that in mind when you get the photography class. After the film is completely dry, and it down into five frame lengths and inserts into film steves. Do not run with the film lose do not run the film lose it can get finished scratching that way remember that to keep that mind in photography best of luck with it if those are you of you are in photography class from Valencia college where i go to or other colleges you've attended to my other advice i'm going to give you photographic printing inserts clean the negative with anti-static cloth insert with negative into carriers you need to adjust in larger head to the desired level up to larger down smaller as you guys have to keep that in mind open lens for wood widest aperture to turn on the timer remember that to keep that in mind Make sure to focus, stop down to F8, turn off the timer, set up a timer for proper exposure, insert the paper to a ease, expose the paper, put the paper into the deck toe for one minute, move the paper into water for 30 seconds, move into fixer for 
three to five minutes, then move into fixer for three to five minutes, then put a print on the screen to dry. Remember that to keep that on when you get to photography class. That's all that, that I'm gonna be going with from a photography course that I have learned. So I, I really enjoyed the photography course because it's an interesting class. Remember that, that hope you guys enjoy the advices I'm gonna give you for, for your photography class so you can learn from your experiences with your photography class so you won't make the same mistakes as I did. Remember that if you guys do the same mistakes like I did, do not worry about it. We are over here to learn for our mistakes. Remember that if you guys have any questions about photography, let me know so I can give you advice of how to deal with a photography course or film developing. So remember that to keep that in mind. My younger brother has to take photography courses back in high school. So he, he has been to photography course more than I did. Remember that if you like my younger brother, go for you. If not, it's not the end of the world, it's okay. Remember that we are over here to learn from our mistakes, remember that. Also, I just put the lists here so you guys can learn about photography course if you guys haven't taken photography before. I know that that's my first time taking my photography course this semester, remember that. Keep that in mind because I decided to take a photography class because it can help me out with my acting and journalism career. Remember that many journalists and actors need to be good at photographer where they're talking in front of the scene. Remember that to keep that in mind once you become an actor and journalist. Remember that. Also, I loved photography course because it's really interesting to me. That's why I decided to take that course this semester. So keep that in mind as you go through the step of photographer when you go to acting and journalism field, remember that. So if you have any questions, just comment down below. And if you guys want to part of message me, just DM me on Instagram so you guys can let me know what, that you guys wanted to see. So like I said before, sorry for the, for reading paper because my paper is that I need to speak while I'm reading the paper. So hope you guys don't judge me because I'm over here to be reading I'm more grateful for the papers for talking in the video. So remember that guys don't mind me because it's not the end of the world. If you guys did the same thing as I did, it's okay. No worries about it. So sorry guys for reading the paper because I have to read the paper so I can remember the tips of how to take the photo of your class. Remember that like always, if you guys did the same thing as I did, it's not the end of the world. Please guys, don't judge me because it's not worth it, remember that. If you guys do the same thing as I did, don't worry about it. Remember that we are over here to learn from our mistakes. Always gonna remember that. Like always keep that in mind. So I would like, again, I would like to thank you guys for subscribing to my video because it really means a lot to me. Really appreciate it. And if you guys don't subscribe to my channel, make sure you do it so you can guys can get notifications to the channel. If you guys don't do it, please write subscribe right down below and all you guys can get notifications remember that like always so hope you guys enjoy my advices for how to take the photography class so for my next video i'm going to be talking about my 25th birthday and for my next one i'm going to be talking about my ceremony of graduation from my associate's degree as well because i'm graduating with my associate's degree this semester so remember that to keep that in mind and for after this, I'm going to be posting about how to list up my first book of where to get it. Remember that to keep that in mind, like always. Make sure you stay tuned for that. So, hope you guys have a good weekend. Have a good week. Good luck you guys to school. Good luck you guys to your job. Whatever you guys are doing. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's channel. And see you guys in the next video. Peace out.